Welcome to N60. I'm Peter White and my guest today is Andrew Lockhart, Managing Partner of Metrics Credit Partners. Andrew, welcome. Thanks, Peter. What's the most satisfying part of your job at Metrics? Well, look, I think it's the, the success of the companies that we're involved with. Um, you get a lot of satisfaction from seeing the companies and the projects complete. Um, I think that's a, a, a very satisfying part of our role. What's the best advice you've had in your career? Oh, when I started working, uh, unemployment was very high and my father's advice was uh, make sure you shave every day. Have you always been interested in private debt slash credit? It's the only thing I've ever known. I started uh, straight from school working for National Australia Bank. And so I guess from my perspective, um, I've, I've fallen into this career. Private debt or private credit? Which term do you like best? I think of it as private debt. I think uh, the term credit for some people has a bit of a, an unusual or a higher risk sort of connotation. Cash flow, debt, profit or security. What's the most important metric when reviewing a borrower? You obviously want to ensure that borrowers can service and repay their debt. And so cash flow is the most important aspect of, uh, of lending. Inflation, bond deals, geopolitics, valuations or regulation. In your opinion, what's the biggest risk factor going forward to 2023? I think they all play a, play a significant role in terms of uh, investors' risk management aspects currently. But I think uh, certainly there's a degree of uncertainty around the geopolitical aspects, uh, which probably I would suggest is the greatest risk uh, in terms of how that might play out. On the other side of the coin, what's the most positive aspect of your industry looking forward? Look, I think uh, it's the broader general acceptance of our role and the, the ability to continue to provide financing. I think we, we would sort of see the banks pulling back in terms of liquidity and access to capital. And so that alternative source of financing, non-bank financing to support companies, I think is really valuable. What are the three key drivers uh, driving returns in your field in private debt? I think the three key areas to deliver for investors is one, the capacity to originate, which drives fee income. Uh, the capacity to manage risk, though, is central to delivering a good outcome for investors. And then the management of liquidity. Uh, those three aspects are really what is important from an investor's perspective, investing in private debt. Why should private debt be included in any investor's portfolio? We only need to look at the experience of investors investing in traditional uh, asset classes over the course of the last 12 months. An alternative uh, asset class like private debt delivers stability of capital through all of the risk management pieces that we put together to manage the, the provision of finance, but equally it, it, it's a source of attractive income. And so I think those two reasons, stability of capital, attractive income, are reasons why all investors should have private debt in their portfolios. Andrew, thanks for talking to us today. Thanks, Peter.